So in this quick video, I just wanted to express uh, some new findings I found that seem to be of significant importance. A lot of people seem to forget how important minerals and electrolytes are. And I think it would be safe to assume or to say uh, or to make the statement that a lot of disease can be traced back to some kind of electrolyte or mineral deficiency. A lot of people always emphasize how important it is for you to hydrate your body. They talk about, you know, drink a lot of water and this and that. But the truth is, water is only half the story. Water is extremely important, obviously. Drink, you know, eight glasses a day. That's a general recommendation. But no one says anything about sodium and potassium and the relationship between sodium and potassium to hydration and to high blood pressure and why sodium is bad for you in high amounts. The truth is, you need a ratio of sodium potassium. You need to make sure you're getting at least four to five parts potassium as to one part sodium. So that means for every thousand milligrams of sodium you, you intake, you need to also consume four, four to five thousand milligrams of potassium, if that makes sense. Or if you eat, you know, if you take in 500 milligrams of sodium, then you're going to need um, like 2,000 milligrams of sodium, if that makes sense. Or, sorry, 500 milligrams of sodium, then you're going to need 2,000 milligrams of potassium. That's what I meant to say. So you need a ratio of 4 potassium to 1 sodium in order to keep your sodium and potassium levels balance. And let's remember, sodium and potassium regulate the excretion of water and water retention and hydration of the body. If you don't have enough sodium in your body, you're not going to be hydrated. And the same can go for potassium. If you don't have enough sodium in your body, you're gonna have hydration issues. You're gonna have um, uh, fluid issues. Okay, and let's not forget, um, balance of the body is completely dependent on how the fluids of the body are going. We are human beings. We are um, essentially a container full of liquids. We have digestive fluids. We have blood, which is another fluid. We have, you know, urine, uh, mucus, uh, saliva. You know, we're full of fluids, uh, sexual fluids. You know, semen and you know, female vaginal fluids. Fluids are very important in the body, and if you do not pay close attention to your mineral balance, the fluids of the body will be in balance, and that means blood pressure is going to be regulated. Urination and urinary tract problems, respiratory fluids. Doctors are so quick to say, oh, you need to stop eating so much sodium, but they don't say jack shit about potassium. They get you, they get these high blood pressure patients on um, diuretics, so they piss out all their sodium because they think sodium is so bad for you. But what happens if you don't have enough sodium? You start cramping. You start experiencing uh, dizziness and, and dehydration and constant thirst and bladder issues and kidney failure. It's crazy how fucked up doctor's perception is of such simple problems because they want to get you on drugs, period. And it just, they just, they just want, they're causing more bullshit, causing more problems, causing more sickness and illness, and even worse sickness and illness than the original one that was presented because them, because A, they're not taking care of the actual problem. And B, they are masking the symptoms of the original problem with drugs. And these drugs have side effects that cause more disease, that call for more drugs, which cause more disease, which need more drugs, and it's just a never-ending cycle. And I'm so surprised, I shouldn't be, but I am, and it's crazy to me how no one can catch this shit. But then again, um, the vast majority of people are waking up and understanding that, you know, <laughs> the mainstream healthcare and medical industry is pretty fucked up on a lot of their ideologies, and uh, more and more doctors and more and more patients are looking for, you know, natural ways of healing. And this is why. So, um, potassium and sodium, the probably the single most important mineral uh, balance you got to pay attention to. 
So how can you correct this easily? Not everyone's going to be able to eat um, a fuck ton of potassium rich foods, okay? If you are not able to eat a lot of grains, okay, because grains is uh, most people's main source of potassium and magnesium and minerals, then you're going to need to eat a lot of greens. Not everyone's going to want to eat, you know, a pound of broccoli, right? Because Jesus, that can cause so much gas and bloating. And um, seriously, that's unrealistic for a lot of people. Not everyone's going to want to eat a whole pound of uh, leafy green vegetables, like mixed greens and spinach and what have you. Not everyone's going to want to eat a lot of fruit, right? Some people are afraid of sugar and afraid of fructose, and they don't want to eat a lot of fruit. And so, really, fruit, leafy greens, um, tomatoes, avocados, bananas, uh, and then grains, you know, those are the main sources of minerals, specifically potassium and magnesium. So, you, you know, there's other sources as far as whole foods, including uh, coke, shredded coconut, you know, even coconut flour if you want to go that far. Um, and then, let's see, uh, cocoa, raw cocoa powder, or just uh, regular unsweetened cocoa powder. You know, and that's cheap. It's like $2 for like half a pound, $4 a pound for cocoa powder. You don't have to buy the raw cacao, superfood, organic stuff. You could just buy regular cocoa powder. And you can get all the magnesium and potassium found in that. Um, but a lot of people are picky and they don't like cocoa powder. Well, you could even, you know, you'd be better off adding sugar to, you know, a cup of cocoa powder and like, I don't know, like making a cocoa, a super cocoa smoothie blast or something to get all your minerals for the day. You'd be better off eating a bunch of sugar with that and getting your minerals than not getting your minerals uh, if you're afraid of sugar. But an even better way to take care of the potassium sodium balance is simply to switch, switch your salts, okay? You should still be eating, you know, maybe a, a teaspoon of Himalayan salt or um, real salt or, or any kind of unprocessed salt or salt in general. Maybe a teaspoon of sodium is okay per day if you're an athlete, if you're not eating a whole lot of cheese and other high sodium foods because you need that sodium. You really do need sodium. But the trick is to eat more potassium, four times more potassium than sodium. And this will clear up any high blood pressure issues uh, that are caused by mineral imbalance, which most are. If they're not caused by stress or caffeine or anxiety or you know medications and whatnot or high blood sugar issues, high blood pressure is almost always caused by too much sodium and not enough potassium. So you can cure this by consuming four times more potassium salt. This means there's a brand called New Salt out there that is just strictly potassium salt. And you're getting like 500 milligrams of potassium per six of a teaspoon. That is a lot of potassium and so easy to, to consume it too. Buy New Salt, I'm telling you. Get some New Salt, just a regular potassium salt, the salt substitute that says sodium free, it's just potassium. And you pour the potassium salt, you know, use your potassium salt on your food as you would regular salt. And this is going to cure the imbalance. Now, of course, I'm talking a ratio here. So you can't just go buck wild and be like, well, I'm going to eat a bunch of potassium salt and not worry about sodium. Unless you have, you know, unless you're lucky enough, you're a rarity and you have like, I don't know, like blood testing in your house so you can test your electrolyte levels whenever or, or I don't know, like some kind of uh, saliva test or sweat test or something that can check how much sodium and, and potassium is in your blood at a time or something. Unless you're lucky enough to have that, you're not going to be able to accurately predict how much uh, sodium and potassium is in your blood at once. But what you can do is, um, as a rule of thumb, eat more potassium salt. And if you start to feel kind of off, if you start to feel like dizzy, if you start to feel uh, like headaches or cramps, then just add, you know, uh, like maybe a fourth a teaspoon to a half a teaspoon, maybe even a whole teaspoon of salt, of regular salt, sodium salt, okay? I cannot begin to explain what a huge difference this will make on your cognitive function, on your anxiety levels, your relaxation, on your sleep, 
on your exercise performance, um, you know, your work, your workload, and your overall life and your sexual performance, your whole quality of life can improve if you just pay attention to sodium and potassium levels. Minerals, these are minerals, electrolytes. This is what we're made of. We are electrical beings. You don't necessarily have to go on a raw vegan diet right to get all your minerals this is a big reason why the raw vegan diet is so therapeutic for a lot of people because our soils are depleted of minerals we are not getting enough magnesium and potassium we have to eat you know uh, four times more vegetables than we ever did before just to get enough minerals we are electrical beings we need electrolytes the more water we drink without electrolytes like for example purified water it has no electrolytes in it if you're drinking just water with no electrolytes it actually depletes the body of minerals and so you're pissing out clear water and you're just pissing and pissing and pissing and you're still thirsty still thirsty why is this because our body needs minerals and what you'll find if you're struggling losing weight and you're, you have uncontrollable hunger is that when you start to give your body the minerals and vitamins that it needs it's not going to be craving all these calories anymore it's not going to be thirsting for water that just doesn't satiate you you need potassium and sodium first and foremost. The potassium salt is the way to go. But you also need magnesium and you need calcium. Now these in relationship to sodium and potassium and high blood, blood pressure and stuff, not, not nearly as important, okay? The, I'm telling you the first and foremost, you need to get more potassium, four times more potassium than sodium. After you've got that taken care of, okay? If you still have issues that you need to take care of as far as anxiety, blood pressure, cramping, and stuff of that nature, or you just want to be as healthy as you possibly can, this is the easiest way to do it. You don't need to go on some special crazy diet. Avoid all the junk food, avoid the food that causes problems, uh, and focus in on the minerals. Got the sodium and potassium taken care of, now you need magnesium and calcium. Easiest way to get all of your minerals, including potassium, but specifically magnesium and calcium, and iron, and copper, chromium, cocoa powder, unsweetened cocoa powder, molasses, blackstrap molasses, coconut products, avocados. And don't worry about eating too many avocados, do it. It contains a lot of great B vitamins, uh, precursors of glutathione, uh, serotonin, really good for the whole body and the brain healthy fats, monounsaturated, most people don't eat enough monounsaturated fats, but it includes magnesium, potassium, vitamin A, vitamin K, all the minerals and B vitamins you need, zinc, okay, avocados, bananas, tomatoes, but cocoa powder is probably the most concentrated. Coconut flour is like powdered coconut. Shredded coconut. I mean, I would you know I would recommend you uh, just go for the the heavy hitters so you can save time and money. You know, instead of going out and getting coconut milk and coconut water and this and that, just get shredded coconut and eat that. Okay, I'm telling you, make smoothies with uh, what I do is I make smoothies with molasses, honey, uh, cocoa powder, uh, shredded coconut, and then fruits. And then I add, you know, some uh, some some cold process, micro filtered whey protein concentrate, high in uh, in uh, immune boosting properties, and I just add that, and I have that as a smoothie because it's super high in minerals. I feel so good, so relaxed, so high after I eat this. And why is that? Because it's supplying my body all the minerals it needs, healthy fats, and um, you know the protein, of course, to make sure I don't just have a big blood sugar crash after that. It's a meal but it's so high in minerals. You get all the minerals you need throughout the day. So important. Fuck all these like supplement companies and people trying to sell you things, okay? This is not hype. This is life. This is how you do it without the hype. And uh, I mean, you know, magnesium citrate, uh, magnesium aspartate, uh, I think magnesium bound to taurine, I think it's magnesium taurate. Uh, or ionic magnesium, you can use uh, magnesium oil. I hear a lot of good things about that. Use these forms of magnesium if you have to. 
but the best way to do it is get it from food. But you know, as long as you're getting your minerals, that's what's important. As long as it's being absorbed, okay. You eat uh, four tablespoons of blackstrap molasses. Yeah, it's it's you know it's got like I don't know six to nine grams of sugar uh, per tablespoon or something, but that's not that much, especially if you work out. And the, you need those minerals. So the minerals are more important. Four tablespoons of blackstrap molasses will supply you with about a hundred percent of your daily value of most vitamins and minerals. Uh, that it contains at least vitamin B6, but more importantly the zinc, the iron, the calcium, the magnesium, the potassium, the life-giving minerals that most people are deficient in. So that's been the video. If you have any questions or comments, post them down below. I'll try to make a video response or respond to you in a comment. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Follow me on Facebook, Wolfgang V. Lazana, Holistic Medicine, and I'll get, talk I'll get back to you soon.